Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joel. This is many a true note, and welcome to Doom. So, as many of you know, I do indeed like the occasional shooter, and I like my shooters to be strategic tactical, sometimes even turn-based with a nice kind of underpinning of nice, calm, civilised numbers and RPG elements. And other times with some nice, stealthy, sneaky, assassination-y. You know, the sort of game where you can sneak through a whole level and potentially even play the entire game through totally 100% pacifist. That's the sort of shooter that I typically like. So this is going to be a nice change of pace. They are rage. Brutal. Without mercy, but you, you will be worse. Rid them tear until it is done. Ah, whatever you bloody say, Sidious. And I'm strapped to a table. Oh, I'm the sort of person that can just tear myself out of things and then just mash people's heads. Lovely. And conveniently, someone left me a gun as well. Oh, media res, media res, get, get, screw you, screw you in the face. Alright, I have a very nice fancy gun floating around. Lovely. And here we are, welcome to Doom on PC. Uh, this is not quite all set to ultra settings, like I played around with it for a little bit. I like turned some things down to high just to get like a nice consistent high frame rate. And I will say it still looks very, very nice. Nice sparks, nice flames, yeah, all looks pretty swish there. Let's turn this on. A playback. So I was inside a casket that they were like all worshipping and from the intro it feels like I've undergone some form of demonic we ritual to, to presumably make me strong enough to defeat the demons. Which, alright, fine, decent enough starting point there. Do, 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 do. Ah, power armour, perfect. And something, 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 hell beasts, yes, hell Mars, da, da, da. we know how doom goes. That's right, just wipe that bit of horrendous hell vision off your helmet, you'll be fine. Demonic invasion in progress. Status update, there's bloody demons everywhere, what more do you want to know? Alright, got ourselves our first objective, go fix satellite dish, give power, realign, got it. Welcome, I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden, I'm the head of this facility. I think we can work together and resolve this problem in a way that benefits us both. <laughs> I quite like the fact that my character apparently hears a voice in his ear saying, Hey, would you like to receive instructions and missions? No, no, go away. I'm just going to shoot my way out of these problems. Now, do, 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 do. Oh, it's very nice. It's very nice indeed. Hello, do we have things in here? We do have things in here. Would you like to be shot? Yes, you would like to be shot. And press left stick when they go into glowy mode in order to be one hit killed in a special kill. Do, 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 do. So that gets them down to like, you know, this is the, almost like a brutality if you like. There you go. So if they almost run out of health, then you kind of get to do a special little kill against them. Hello, what's one of these? I'm guessing you're a health kit, but I'm fine. Also, I've got infinite ammo for this pistol. In fact, not just infinite ammo. Is there any way of making it... I don't think its power's going down. It doesn't ever need to be reloaded. Interesting. Hello, new gun, new gun, new gun, new gun. And we have got ourselves a combat shotgun. Oh, I approve of this. Yes, I think we'll go straight over to that. Oh, and we've got a new enemy that decides to do a big dramatic entrance and screw... Well, I've got a shotgun. Yeah, screw you. There you go. Now you don't have pretty much anything anymore. That was an imp. These ferocious and agile demons are found all over hell. Well, in all fairness, I think the Codex just told us where the invasion's coming from. I'm guessing it's hell. Do I still need to go and bother dealing with the satellite dish? So, destroy the gore nest. Alright, fine. I like to think my character's the one naming all this stuff, and he's doing a very dramatic job of it. Right, hang on. You. And then you. Yeah, headshot seems to do pretty well. Oh, yeah, it's pretty much uh, one-hit kills with the headshot. Oi! Don't you charge at me, you git. Yeah, quite like that. Even with the basic pistol, just one shot to the head and the head just pops off. A little spurt of blood. Lovely. So this will be a gore nest then. And I'm guessing it's supposed to be a bad thing. Alright, fine. We'll destroy one. Oh, I wouldn't stick your hand in it. That strikes me as a terrible idea. That's out a gore nest. Right, okay. Oh, and things have decided to show up. Hello. And then, oh, can I get up to you? Oh, you can just teleport up ledges. That's nice. Oi, screw you. Nice and oh, this is a satisfying shotgun to use. Well done. Demonic presence at unsafe levels. Lockdown. Oh, as opposed to the safe levels it was previously. Good. 
So there doesn't seem to be any reloading in this game whatsoever. You do basically just uh, straight to... Oh, punch his face off. That's nice. You do just seem to like have a maximum amount of ammo, which is... Oh, ow! Which is infinite for the pistol and has like 20 for the shotgun. Then you just go around until it runs out. That's nice. When you get behind a window, they're not the smartest cookies of the jar, mind. I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours, but you must understand. Our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Punch the screen. Everything has clearly gotten out of hand now, yes. But it was worth the risk. I assure you. There you go. So, alright. So, the human base on Mars was openly opening gates and experimenting with hell. Beautiful. Oh, that's lovely. The shotgun could chink perfectly in sync with the music. That is gorgeous. And out we come into Mars proper. And it would appear that I'm a human that's been in some way supernaturally, demonically, something or anotherly enhanced. Which would make sense why I'm, you know, so fast and strong and stuff next to most other humans. So down we go. I'm assuming there's no full damage. That was a lucky guess there. Beautiful. And now we're here on Geonosis. Pick up some armor. Okay, so green thing means armor. And for the most part... Ooh, hello. What are you? You're a codex entry about the UAC. I'm fine not knowing about the UAC. It's fine. And then we got some random guys. You're just the normal slow kind, aren't you? Screw you. Hello. You're just going to go down nice and easy. I think you're now into your fatality mode. That's fine. Ooh, they actually seem to notice. That's good. And then we'll just kind of headshot you lot. Oh, actually, if you're aiming, you charge up. That's really nice. That's actually a nice little just kind of built-in feature. Yeah, just um, an aim is a charge-up. Is that the same for the shotgun? No, the shotgun doesn't even flip a game. The shotgun's like, You're, why are you aiming this thing? Just stand in front of something and then just bloody destroy it. But yeah, if you want to, you can just actually use the pistol to like snipe off everything. That's quite good. I'm guessing that's not really going to matter much because plenty more things are just going to teleport in. I really hope you're a friend. No, you're not a friend. Right, these guys look like marines, kind of. Hello, let's get... Oh, they all have custom animations. I don't even know what I just did to that guy, but it was brutal. Screw you. You're just a basic imp. Then we got you up here. Ooh, what are you going to do? Whatever you just did, that was bad. Don't do that again, you. You're mean. Right, let's go over here and get this armor. Armor. There we are. I've already lost the armor. Get to the health instead. Why do we have the feeling I should just never stop moving? Oh, you don't have a face or anything anymore. Ow, you're an imp. You're annoying and fast. Uh, just... Keep moving, grab the health, grab the armor, grab the shotgun shells, round here, more health, more armor, beautiful. So I've got a fair bit of armor right now, and just keep it moving on. Hello, screw you. And then finish you off with a, I think these were called a glory kill or something? I don't know, I can't remember. Hello, you're dead now. And checkpoint reach, which I'm assuming means all of you are dead now. So yeah, kind of enter an area, loads of enemies just kind of spawn in. You just jump around, keep moving, grab the health top-ups. Kind of twitchy, but yeah, I actually kind of like it. It's not bad at all. And find a blue access key. I really feel like I could climb over this pretty easily. That's like, that's not even barbed wire on the top. Look, look, I can get my hands like up to the top of it. Just climb over. Fine, we'll go into the terrifying doom cave system. The heck is that? Hello? Well, I guess a collectible, but I can't shoot it and I don't see a way to actually climb up to it. Maybe I need to come back with a better jump later. Oh, hello! Are you on alive? No, you're most certainly not on alive. You're missing a few bits. That was a little bit suspiciously too easy. Why well, do I get the feeling that the journey back is not going to be as simple? Never mind, just me being a worry wart. In fact, the journey back was very simple. And I've got grenades as my secondary weapon. Conveniently, there's no number of them. They're just on a cooldown. That's nice. So we're just tossing a grenade. And then it's... How do I see the cooldown? It's... Oh, it's rising up again. Lovely. Then we got... You know what? Screw you. Hello. Why don't you just shamble in this direction? Yeah, that's right. Bye. You know what? This is too slow. I feel like I'm not getting in the spirit of it. Well, they make a good hiss when they're together. Grenade time. Bye, lads. Oh, I only killed half of them. That's a shame. Buy and buy and buy. Oh, uh oh, they're getting a bit okay. They're getting a bit more fighty all of a sudden. Screw the lot of you at the back. Oi, don't you stand at the back throwing projectiles like you've got strategy or something. Right, just plenty more imps, shotgun shells, all sorts of business. Nothing too tricky so far. I feel like we're kind of probably due for the next big enemy upgrade. The shotgun can most certainly handle the imps 
and the basic little zombies or whatever they're called. So they're called the Possessed apparently. The game is also conveniently keeping score on how many I've killed and how many I've glory killed, which is nice. And this whole thing was caused by a Lazarus wave, so we probably shouldn't have done the Lazarus wave. And now we've got a thing. Hello, what are you? You are a combat support drone. Ooh, I can make my shotgun better already. Oh, this is the most terrible choice I've ever had to make. Charge burst. So holding the weapon to charge up three round burst with tight as spread. That's really good. Or an explosive shot. Hold it down to charge up an arcing explosive round. Ooh, I can't turn down an explosive shot. I'm sorry. I just can't. And I'd like to purchase that. I don't know exactly how, but yes, I'd like to purchase that. <laughs> I'm a jerk. Can I just shoot you out of the sky now? No, apparently you don't go down. You just kind of hover there looking slightly sad and depressed. So I've got my normal shot and then I've got hello. So wait for it and then kaboom. Nice. So that's a nice big kaboom for anything. We've got lots of shotgun shells everywhere. You know what? I'm not going to regret that decision for one bloody second. Oh no, not at all. No, I'm fine. So now we've got these soldiers here. Your soldiers, and that's bad or something, kill you. So it, yeah, you can definitely be taken out with a single like explosive round, which is quite good. There we are. You're over... No, stop it. Stop it over there, you. Oi. Excuse me. No. Go away. We're just swapping places with that guy. That's just bad for you. Oh, you just died with an actual explosive ball on you there. 90 health. Oi, go away. Where are you? You're there. Don't have a face anymore. Where's the next one who's shooting at me? I'm pretty sure I can jump up here because I saw someone else jump up here. No, no, no. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Screw you. I like the explosive. Actually, it doesn't even need to be charged by the looks of it. Oh, yeah, that's all it is. Just hold and then the moment those two lines come up, that's an explosive round. That's nice. Oh, we're almost... We're very almost dead, actually. I think I just got caught in an explosion there. Oh, no. And then... Okay, Hopefully these guys will produce some health. Yes, he just, he just produced health. Nice. Oh, it's the glory kills that give you that. Which make the glory kills really worth doing because the glory kills will actually keep you going. That's really, that's really nice, actually. That's worth knowing about. The glory kill will get you health top up. So you always want to... Also, you're standing... Oh, you were standing next to explosive, you get. So if you're in trouble, you can just basically keep glory killing people and then it's fine. Where's the shotgun ammo? I need more. Actually, screw it. I can just punch these guys to death. Punching works just as well as shotgun. Are we good? I think there was more shotgun ammo right there. That was all possibly a bit unnecessary. Yes, I actually think I had lots of shotgun ammo the whole time. Possibly they were dropping it. Now, that's a really nice system. The glory kills. If you actually just go and weaken them and then batter them in the face personally. Oi! Screw you. That actually uh, does actually give you health immediately. So if you're out of health and out of good ammo, you can just run in and melee things and it works quite nicely. And we've cleared out that first big area. Okay, with those soldiers, it's all becoming a bit more interesting. 120 in this direction. Can I climb up here? And a big pile of armor up here on this cliff. Ah, nice convenient box here. Get up top. This feels where I'm supposed to be. Very nice. So armor caps at 50, health caps to 100. I'm assuming I'm going to be able to upgrade that in time though. No sprint function, interestingly, but I'm guessing maybe I'm kind of supposedly already pretty much sprinting as far as the game's concerned. You're just like perma-sprinting. So find the resource op center. Now 221 accident free days. I'm not sure I believe that. And that was mission one. It's actually divided into missions or levels, just like uh, the classic Doom. Lovely. And feels like there's a whole bunch of secrets and stuff I did not find there. So yeah, there's definitely some more stuff hidden away in here. And now I'm actually in the resource ops building that's got that satellite I need to realign. Lovely. Mission two, know your enemy. They're giant snarling hell beasts and they respond very well to shotgunning. I think I've got it. Hello, I am Vega, the sentient intelligence assigned to Mars. After running diagnostics on the Praetor suit, it appears that I can activate optional challenges that when completed will assist in upgrading your arsenal at an accelerated pace. I have added a tracking component to your dossier. Okay, mission challenges, activated when a mission begins, completes them rewards you with weapon upgrade points. 
All right, fair enough. So they're just fun little side objectives, which interestingly is sentient air has assigned to me, like killing two of the possessed with a single trigger pill from the shotgun. Shouldn't be too difficult with the uh, the explosion, actually. Variety is the spice of death. Five different uh, glory kills on the possessed. It seems to be like situational, like if they're against a wall, you kick them into the wall and stuff like that. And quite the explorer, find three secrets. Okay, we'll see what we can do there. There's also elite guards, field drones, argent cells, and yeah, a whole bunch of secrets, actually. Just there's... How many is that? Is that eight? Eight or nine total secrets? So I just need to find three of them to actually, uh, yeah, count as an objective. That's nice. So yeah, it's not just running and gunning. There's actually a fair bit of, like, exploration and fun extra stuff here. Hello. Excuse me. Would you like to come over here? There you go. So just got to keep an eye out for the two basic blokes. There's two of them standing next to each other. Shotgun blast for them will be fine. Hello. We've got to get some power going on here. New power offline. All entrances non-operational. All right, so let's go and find ourselves a nice power generator. And, ah, this'll do. All right, you guys. There we go. Challenge number one completed. Single explosive round. I've got a weapon upgrade point. You can be used to upgrade weapon mods by visiting the arsenal tab of the dossier. Oh, so I don't need to wait for one of those drones. I can just do this any time. Fine, well, we'll just, if it's like one guy on his own, I'll just kill him for the extra bonus health, which is quite useful. So I now have one point over on the right there. My pistol, I could have charge efficiency, decreases the time it takes to charge up a charged energy shot for the pistol. Lovely, and that would presumably... Can I actually have any of these? I can just have any of these, that's nice. Move at full speed while using a charged energy shot. Quick recovery, no, not entering. Let's just focus on the shotgun. Bigger boom increases... Yes. Instant load removes the loading time for an explosive... Yes. Oh my goodness, that's it. Okay, bigger explosion. Let's go for bigger boom. That seems fine. Oh, the next upgrade for this mod will cost... Oh, okay, so the first one's cheap. And then after that, it's a bit more... Okay, let's see. Yeah, go for bigger boom. Bigger boom is good. Then if I want to buy the next ones, then I need to spend three. And presumably after that, five. So now my explosive shot is better. That's nice. How much better? Hello. Oh, that's a big kaboom. I like it. This game understands the importance of a good shotgun, which, you know, makes sense. It's doom. It kind of should. All right, power terminal. This seems like the sort of thing that we would need. Rerouting, verified, backup, main, wibbly, wibbly, wibbly. And there's the dish I need to go and take care of. I believe in honesty, especially now. In what will be your final moments in this world? All the rumors, the human sacrifices, the hell portal. The demons. It's all true. My sisters and brothers, be thankful. You will be the first. You will have a seat alongside them, just as I will, in what will become the new world that they create for us. Starting now. Right, so she opened up the Hell Portal and has decided rather than trying to make amends, she just quite likes the Hell Portal. So she's just basically going all in for the Hell. Well, in all fairness, I can see where she's coming from. If you open up a hell portal, trying to close it again possibly is a bit of a case of, you know, closing the barn after the horse has bolted when all the demons are already here. Maybe it's better to just side with the demons. I can see where she's coming from here. Oh, okay, that's an explosive enemy. Possessed engineer has actually managed to engineer himself an explosion. Beautiful. All right, watch out for the guys that are clearly suicide bombing zombies. Oh, it's another bloody unsafe lockdown, is it? Okay, and screw ya. And screw ya. And screw you. And oh, can we get you? Nice. That was a good shot. Dead. Dead. Get the... Get you, get the... Get the health off you, just in case I'm taking a few knocks. Actually, I've got plenty of... Oh, blimey, you guys are fast. And take several shotgun blasts to take out. And over and hopefully can make it good. Made it. And then screw you. Get some health from you. Variety is the spice of life. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm killing. I need to kill these guys in various different ways, don't I? And screw you up. Screw you up. Explosive shot. Dead. Nice. And it come. Oh, you're an, you're an engineer. You're an engineer. You're an engineer. Careful of the engineers. Wait, are you already dead? I think the engineer's dead. And not anymore. You're not. And kill you. <laughs> I like just punching their heads off. That's good. That makes me happy about life. Now we got one guy over here. You're about to jump up here. You're just coming around here. Now you're dead. 
I like the variety of the enemies. The really nippy jumpy imps and the soldiers who are slow. I like the imps that occasionally like jump up and like throw the massive energy balls at you. I think I'm picking it up though. I'm just kind of cleared out that room with like not even burning through like half my armor. I didn't even get to my health. So yeah, actually this is very enjoyable. Hello, there's a thing over here. What's this then? Environment, resource, something, something, something. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. And hello, what have you got on ya? You've got a... Oh my goodness. You've got a chainsaw, don't you? <laughs> na 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 na. So the chainsaw needs fuel. Bigger the demon, the more you need. Cutting a bottom with a chainsaw will always drop a surplus of ammunition. Okay, so if you run out of ammo, you can start chainsawing and that means you get loads more. Okay, so that's nicely balanced, actually. I like that. Are you ready to move up? To take on new challenges? To become more than you ever dreamed you could be? Talk to your supervisor to see if you meet the requirements for this year's Soul Harvest. The Soul Harvest. Who on earth signs up for something called a Soul Harvest? Right, I've got an engineer over there. I see you. Bye, you've exploded. Good. And then we've got one over you. Let's see if we can get a unique thing on you. That was possibly, hopefully, one. Oh, okay. There's possibly more people in here than I was expecting, actually. Let's take out... Oh, hello. You're a bit faster than the rest of them. You've exploded. And then you're going to be dead. You're going to die, too. Oh, you took a few shotgun things. Right, got some health back from you lot. And then... Oh, flip. I'm a bit surrounded. Bit surrounded, bit surrounded, bit surrounded, bit surrounded. Need to get a special kill. Need to get a special kill. Oh, don't need to... Oh, I'm in a lockdown. Right. Good. Got some health back from that. Now, got to... Is there anyone left but these guys? If there's only um, these guys left, then I'm going to do the attacks on... All of them, see if I can get to the next, yeah, the next level of this. And then sooner or later as well, uh, the security station activation required to get into here. This looks like a good place to be, however. Oh, I actually did it. I got the fifth. Yes, I got the fifth thing. Nice. So yeah, I got the upgrade there. Oh, I've just bypassed the security office door. That's nice. Uh, by just going up through the vent there. Got a whole bunch of stuff. The heck is this thing? Hello? What's one of these? Oh, is this? Oh, that's fuel. That'll be fuel for the chainsaw, which I should use because it's a chainsaw. Oh, I feel like that's a hell thing over there, isn't it? Demonic levels unusual. Okay, fine. Nice. Well, yeah, you do have a massive gore portal here. Now, do I need to gather anything before we begin? No, I'll kill all these guys just in case. But I think actually we're okay. Just remember, keep moving around. There's plenty of health and shotgun ammo everywhere. Take this thing out. And the enemies are going to start spawning in like crazy. Yeah, you see? Like him. Like him right there. Right. Kill him for bonus health on the ground. Plenty of... Oh, you decided to actually teleport into me. That was bloody not smart of you. Underneath here, what have we got? Shotgun, explosion, and nice instant free kill. And, oh, you almost got instant free killed. Oh, flipping heck, you, oi, ow, health. Right, okay, run for more health, run for more health, and more shotgun, beautiful. Right, what's next? We're not doing too bad here. No, don't you dare, screw you. And then more of you, and more of you, you're definitely dead. Dead. And more in a second. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Got a good shot back in mind. Dead as well. Ouch. Right, what have we got left? Oh, darn you. Right, I'll get some health back off him. You get loads of health back, actually, for doing the glory kills, which I do really quite like. It's a good way of getting out of trouble. And explosions. And explosions. And we're ready for another explosive round whenever we want for a big explosion. I think we're almost done, actually. Just I find just circling the room is a good idea. Just keep circling the room, and you're about to run up here. Yes, you are. Oh, you get. Screw you. There you go. Lovely. There's definitely more yet, mind. And you're dead now. And I saw you coming in. Dead. Anyone else? Nice. It's lovely intense. I love it. It's fast-paced and everything. It's actually quite, 
you know, it's exactly what I'd want a Doom game to be, really. It's fast-paced and silly, but the mechanics really do suit runny, gunny, the action never kind of slowing down. You know, if there was, like, regenerating health or anything, it totally wouldn't work, because you'd, like, stay back and hide. But to get your health back, you actually have to dive in and murder people by ripping them apart. That's a beautiful way to get health back. It's a lovely idea. So you, I'm guessing, yes, had the yellow card on you. Beautiful. And then you're apparently still alive. Screw you. Oh, screw you properly then. But first we've got one of these lovely drones here. So what do you actually do then? Hang on a minute. So is this how I actually change my modification if that's what I want to do? So you're telling me this drone exists purely to stop my shotgun having an explosive blast? Bad drone. Hello. What have you got? I don't think you need this anymore. This is an... It's not a weapon wheel, it's something else. This is a heavy assault rifle. That's not a shotgun. So, health station, picked up some extra armor here, lovely. Core heat maximum threshold, right, put some coolant on that or something. Chainsaw, chain, okay, so it's basically a free guaranteed kill if you go over with that thing, that's nice. Oh, you've got a shield. That's cheating somehow, we'll kill you for the health. Oh, get the health, get the health, get the health, get the health. Right, good. And then, explosive round for you. Oh, flipping heck. And then, oh, kill, yep, kill you for health. Kill you for not health. You survived an explosive round before. Bloody hell, you're tough. Right, get the health there. Oh, you're charging at me, but you decided against it. Good. And then, okay, we'll kill you for the health as well. Ouch. Okay, good. Right, let's just run over here for a second. Blimey, we're a little bit more surrounded than I wanted to be there. Get some health for the chainsaw. Get some health for my health. Nice. And then... Oh, no, you don't! Ow! Flip, I should never do that. Never just kind of stop to aim at the guys who are doing that. Because it doesn't work. You dropped a bit of health. What is this? What the heck did I just... Okay! Whatever just happened, it was good. Yeah, I feel like whatever I'm doing right now is a good thing. Screw... Excuse me, come over here. I'm just punching you for a bit. I'm in berserk mode. Alright, good. Well, bare minimum, I have at least cleared out a whole bunch of enemies that were causing me a bit of trouble there. Now, I swear I saw someone up here a second ago, but that's fine. Get myself a full suit of armor on the way past. And get rid of you. What were you doing? <laughs> I'll just slap the dead guy's hand onto there to get access. Beautiful. So, we've got the alignment, but I believe it also said power. We may have aligned to this thing, but we don't have power, right? I'm blocking your access to the facility scanner. Come to the Vega terminal, and I'll give you what you need. And once a bloody again, it's the humans who are getting in my way. Beautiful. Right, let's get to the Vega terminal. That's over here, apparently. They really shouldn't take that one moment to just kind of, you know, do the shrieky thing. It's That's the point where it goes wrong for them. Hello. Oh, you all ran into trouble there. Dead. I don't like the shield guy. The shield guy's a jerk. Ow, he killed me. You know what I really ought to do to him? Grenades. I keep forgetting I've got grenades. And a grenade behind him. I think we just took him out nicely. Yeah, there you are. Just toss a grenade behind him. That's a very good way of taking out him. Oh, oh dear. Or not. Oh, but the heavy assault rifle can just about shoot through it, which is just about nice. But not two of them, mind. Come on, grenade. Oh, it's time for a grenade. Yes. Nice. Okay, so the heavy assault rifle can just about pull it off. But it feels like a well-placed grenade is a better bet, to be honest. Okay, fine. I quite like the heavy assault rifle. Not quite as much as the other, but it's still pretty good. Now this back here. This has got to be a secret area, because this is completely off the beaten track. Come on. Come on, game. This is secret. Press thing. Get thing. Okay, maybe that wasn't a secret, but that is indeed a suit upgrade thingy. Fine. So decrease explosive barren environmental damage taken. That's one option. When a power-up wears off, a damaging blast wave is released. Eh, kind of okay. Actually, to be honest, none of those are spectacular, to be perfectly honest. But okay, fine. Decrease explosive barrel and environmental damage taken. That's probably sensible. Let's go for one of that. And that big ammo crate just basically topped up 100% of my ammo. Though admittedly, this game is a little bit prejudiced against the basic pistol. Because I can't help but notice that when you kind of uh, tap to skip between weapons, the pistol gets skipped out on. Which is sad. I like the pistol. It's actually quite good. 
Well, there's the flipping computer. I'm sure I'm going to go up to that and then use it, then walk back out of this room and everything will be fine. It's a gift. Take it. It will give you strength, help you on your journey, if you can withstand the power surge. I don't think we should trust this guy. This guy's blatantly on the side of the New World Order of the Demons. We should not take this, but equally I'm guessing there's no choice. Fine. What's one of these then? It's the Eye of Sauron. Interesting. Argent Cell. Energy Overload. Route Power to a Subsystem. Ah, this increases... How would that increase max armor? Whatever. Uh, permanent increases max armor capacity. Yeah, I'd say health. Health strikes me as a very good idea. Can't help but notice that Samuel Hayes appears to be a robot. According to the records, Dr. Hayden, the invasion originated in the Lazarus facility. It seems that a hell wave was activated, transforming 64% of all UAC employees into the creatures you see roaming throughout the facility. The rest were killed by the demons released from their holding cells by Olivia Pierce. I feel I should apologize for what's happened here. Some of my employees took things too far. Olivia was the cause of all this. And I believe you will have to deal with her in time. You may not agree with our research, but know this. We exploited hell and its resources because it was in mankind's best interest to do so. What you now see in this facility is the cost of progress. It's like he's reading out of a textbook of 101 villain cliches. The regulators have been destroyed and the core temperatures are now destabilizing. They've overrun the adjacent facility. If the venting turbines aren't re-engaged, neither of us will survive the meltdown. It's probably a good thing. Actually, that would wipe out this facility, all the demons inside it and all the witnesses. Like, everybody wins if we do that. Let's just do that. Alright, fine, let's go take care of this here foundry thingy. And again, I didn't find a single secret. I'm honestly not sure where they're hiding them. Because the areas don't feel that open. There are like little open adventure playgrounds to fight in. But I feel like I couldn't really have missed nine secrets. I'm not sure if I've like not got an upgrade or something. But yeah, wherever the secrets are being hidden, they're being hidden quite well. The facility will not allow you access to the turbine room unless the demonic threat level is brought down inside the foundry. Our security systems cannot be overridden. Yeah, I've heard that from security systems before. Typically, you push a button and you override them. So finally kill as many demons as possible to maximize a combat rating, and that lets you upgrade faster. That's cool. Ooh. Foundry. This is pretty. I should probably be killing those guys, but this is pretty. This is really, really pretty. That's nice. Hello, I should probably just quickly kill you before we get going. Wait a second, blue key card required. I've got one of those. I swear I picked up one of those in the very bloody first mission, but maybe it's a different blue key card. Fine. And again, fussiness about a yellow key, which I most certainly already have. And another Argent cell over here. Nice, so we just get regular upgrades at this point. Lovely. And this time, let's say a bit of ammo as well. Ammo seems like a good sort of a thing. Ah, that's a big increase. I know 30 rather than 20 shotgun shells. That's nice. So the game basically just says kill the gore nests. That's fine. I'm guessing killing the gore nests is going to upset some people. Oh, hello. We've got new monsters showing up. Hellraisers. Whoever you are, I've killed you a bit at least. That's good. And that's the first little wave of these guys done. Beautiful. Oh, bloody hell, there's four of them. Right. Ah, this will be the new guy then. The hell thingy. Right. Okay, I'm seeing actually quite a few enemies showing up here then. Right, yes. Yes, I understand. You're a bad guy. Oh, flip. Ow. Okay, they're quite tough. Aha, I've found a bot. Now I can activate a scope on the heavy assault rifle. So, a tactical scope, so zooming in. Boring. Micro missiles, rack of micro missiles. Feel like that's better. Ammo cost of micro missiles, a greatly reduced load time for the micro missiles, quick launcher micro missiles, 
could go for that. I kind of feel like I'm actually just going to specialize. No, I'm going to keep it as this. I want to specialize in the shotgun instead. Shotgun. Yes, I'd say shotgun. Hello. Oh, oh, you three. You three, would you mind? What the? Kind of a feel you're on the wrong side there. But all right, fine. If they want to shoot their own, that's fine by me. I'm not going to stand in their way while they do it. You have no idea why that guy just decided to kill his own, but fine. Good, good, good. Okay, thing. Put a hand on a thing. Is this something to do with the cooling? Access denied. We're going to need a better hand. Oh my goodness. And another one already? Or have you got a key card instead? No, you've got a wrist. That was the wrist I needed. Beautiful. Got your hand now. Very nice. So that's where that bloke went. Next. So that's oh, hello. You've decided to spawn in, have you? Anyone else? No, just in case you just like one imp just kind of shows up. But it's barely even worth mentioning because he immediately gets himself killed. Now slap that guy's hand on here. That'll work. Oh, I don't know who I'm playing as, but I'm a lovely bloke. And that opens up a lovely new area here. Beautiful with a whole new gore nest. I love a good gore nest. Let's go clear this out. Okay, remember, we've got spare armor sitting right up there nearby the gore nest. I just like to scout out the area first. I've got full armor. We've got, I'm not even sure what that one is, by the way. It might be like a grenade top up, maybe, for your grenades on cooldown. If you do, like, pick that up, it's a new grenade. I'm not 100% sure. Other than that, actually, not much. There's very little health in here, so if I want more health, I'm going to have to do it, yeah, carefully by myself. All right, fine. This is going to be a tricky one. Break that out. Enemies are going to start spawning in, like, now. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Next. 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 And then, no, oh, you picked the wrong place to spawn in. Let's just get the health off you, because we can have, what is it, like 125 health? I think every health upgrade is like 25 more. I'm guessing more like, oh, flip out. Actually, I think you missed, and now you've exploded, so that's good. Yeah, those explosive crates appear to have really good range on them. Oh, flip thing, heck, right. Oh, something bad, something bad, something bad, something bad, something bad. Get the get the new armor there, and the shotgun shells, and you're a, you're a hell something or another, huh? Uh, let's just kill you for more health. I'm pretty sure tougher enemies get more, give you more health when it all goes wrong. And then another one for you, and then for that, and then, I uh, need plus five. Maybe, I think maybe it scales up as you get lower in health, you get more out of it. Right, get you. Oh, he was standing next to an explosive. I've got to pay attention to be more environmentally aware about the explosives. Because that is... Oh, flip. Oh, bloody hell. Right, okay. Dead. No, not quite. Grenade. Grenade and grenade and grenade and grenade. Nice. And that's it. Okay, that one wasn't too bad. And I'm assuming now I can work this thing. There's clearly some levers over here. I'm guessing you want me to do these. Or not. Right, there's one gore nest that's trapped in here behind a key card, so I know I'm not supposed to be going there. Which means whatever this objective is over here, this has got to be where I'm going next. Or not, the door doesn't open. Well, I did get a yellow key card earlier. Where's that on the map? Let's see if I can find one of them. Unless the game wants me to go down and then up, potentially. That could be what the game's trying to suggest. If I go round here, and then, wait, what's this through here? This is... Ah, that's just an elevator to push me straight back up. Now, this can't be it. Oh, bloody... Ah! No, 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 you do not. No, you do not. No, you do not. No, you do not. Whatever the hell you are, bloody hell no. That's not fair. I finally found the bloody, bloody thing. The yellow door. The bloody yellow door again. Right. That just took me half an hour of wandering around the level because the game's very bad at pointing out where things are. Because it gives you, like, the markers to the objectives, but the objectives are often incredibly unhelpful. But the next objective is there or there. The door I need to go to is up here. Like, 115 whatever units of measurement this is, away from where I'm supposed to go. That's very unhelpful. What's this? This better be worth it. Oh, wait, the cycle is just between the two weapons you've used most recently. Right, okay, plasma rifle. Let's figure out what one of these does in a second. And a bit of lore gives me an answer to my one of my questions. Samuel Hayden was indeed a bloke, but yes, got a terminal illness, inoperable brain cancer, so transferred his consciousness into a robot. Got it. Now, let's see how this thing works. Okay, it's a very, very rapid fire weapon. Lovely, it just seems to, like tear things apart pretty quick. Like that. Hello. Oi, go away, you. So it's pretty good even against the big lads. Got it. Nice. 
And then, oh, what the hell are you? Oh, you're one of the guys who's got the big sniper rifle. But screw you, I think we'll just focus on you like that. Nice. Uh, plasma rifle does however run out of plasma pretty quickly. That's a shame. And I've found the third gore nest by looping around. Beautiful. The problem is I haven't found the blue key card yet. And without that, I can't get into the fourth and final. I can only get into the first three. The, anything else in here? Right. Top up. Okay, there's the shotgun shells there, but I'm already topped up. Explosive barrels. This side. The area goes up. And there's a... Oh, never mind. I shouldn't have picked that up now, but whatever. The area goes up. And then there's, yeah, some more stuff up here. But honestly, not much I can use. Right, well, let's just tear this thing out and take care of anything that shows up. I feel like this is a very... Yeah, this is a small area. And we've got the problem of there's also lava. So I can't really dive around that much. Because if I do, it's all going to go wrong. Alright, good. With that guy punched to death. That is the third one taken care of. And a third weapon point at just the right moment. That, I think, could be very useful for dealing with enemies thanks to my newly upgraded shotgun mark whatever. And perfect timing, just as I thought, this guy is going to have the blue key card. It is a bit mazy. If I've got one criticism, and I genuinely have very few criticisms, this thing's really, really fun. But if I do have one criticism, it's that the levels are a bit mazy and it's very easy to get lost. Because the map is actually really unhelpful, because it points you towards, like, the objective rather than how you get there. But the entrance to how you get into it is very often, like, in a very different place to where the objective is. So, actually, the map and the objective markers are actively unhelpful because they take you off in the wrong direction. Now, crack open this over here and into what's presumably going to take me... Ah! Flip, flip, flip! You are going to explode in a second, aren't you? There you go. And indeed, I have come right on top of the fourth and final gore nest here. Beautiful. And this lets me open up all of these doors. Feels like there's nothing much in here, to be honest. One bloke telling me to fill out a nice HR form of some description. I don't think I'm going to be doing that. Blue thing around the back, that'll lead me to, yep, that area there. I mean, one thing I will say is, I've learned how the area works. I know how it all fits together now. So the game has forced me to learn the map. It just feels like it could have been a little bit more helpful laying things out, especially the quest markers, which are actively unhelpful. Right, this is possibly about to all go wrong at this point. And I'd say we're just going to chainsaw a few of you guys, because I can see there's a very large amount of things floating around here. And there you are, yeah. You know what, we'll just get a light, the huge pile of ammo that just pops up. Top of the chainsaw ammo. Oh, that's going up to four. That's nice. Now, do we need to just run through here, clearing out some more people? Yeah, you're going to just die now. Beautiful. As are you. And I think you're invincible while you're doing this, too. You're all going to go down, and so are you. Oh, the chainsaw's actually, if anything, it's a little bit ridiculously overpowered. And then, oh, flip. And then, grenade. Grenade. And good. The big lad goes down. The hell, whatever it is. And there we are. Four out of four Gornas destroyed. I haven't actually done anything to, you know, cool down the flipping area. I've just been going around killing demons. I think this guy kind of gets off on it. But, uh, yeah, I was supposed to be here to stop the stop the uh, overheating explosion self-destruction. I feel like I didn't bother doing that. Oh, it's because there was a massive manual lockdown the whole time. Got it. Warning. Core temperature reaching critical levels. Well, it has been for the past hour and a half, and nothing's gone too wrong yet, so I'm sure it's all fine. Oh, I've got a horrible feeling that the moment I push this button, something's going to go wrong in that sort of a direction, but all right. That's right, I've pushed the button, everything's fine now, and there's going to be no giant monster boss fight. Oh, well, never mind. Right, let's just keep on the move here. Always move. If, you've ever, if you're ever not moving for any reason other than you're shooting something or doing a takedown animation and something's gone wrong. Will you stop running away, you bastard? Let's get up to the top. Being on the high ground feels like a good thing. One more lockdown to take care of and then we're done. Right, where are you all? Oh, flip. There you are. Hello, you're dead. You are going to throw a big explosive ball at me. And, oi, oi, come back in. You, dead. Oh, ow. And then you, with a with a shotgun, yeah, the shotgun blast is the perfect way to take care of you. Will you stop attacking me? You should be... Oh, darn. Right. 
Don't try and out-tank tanks. Got it. Actually, you know what I need to do? I can bloody upgrade my shotgun. Uh, time between explosive shots or instant load. Removes the loading time for an explosive shot. Um, I'd say recharge time between. That's what's holding me up there. Yeah, I'm going to purchase that. Right, this shotgun is now amazing. Oh, it's you again. Oh, don't. Stay away from him. Just stay away from him. Get the armor that's over here. Back away. Only take explosive shots against him. Wait for him to come up to me. Oh, uh, when he says come up to me, he's already here. Flip. Okay, jump over and jump over. I can definitely run better than they can. He's already coming. That's fine. There you go. We got a second explosive shot there. And uh, he is badly injured. Back away from him. And then explosive shot for you. You're coming back over. And then... We're stunning him, and he's dead. Beautiful. He'll drop a little bit of health. Nice. Up to 88. There's definitely someone else here. I see you. I like how they fire massive big energy balls, because then I think we just swapped positions there. Flip. Um. Oh, he's good at banking his shots. Sneaky get. All right. Oh, you're up there. Screw you. There you are. You're dead. Who's next? Oh, there's rumbling. Don't know the fact there's rumbling. Okay, just a second wave for now. Just a second wave for the minute. After him. Then you. And then kill ya. And then, oi. No. And then kill him for all the health. Oh, he's dropping something bad. I wonder how much chainsaw I've got at the minute. Probably not much. No out of ammo. So literally none. So that was a terrible idea. Right, you're dead. And then that's good. You're dead too. I think I picked up like 10 health off you. Who else is coming up? And then we got... Oh, don't stop moving. Don't stop moving. There you go. You're dead. Who's next? Oh, we got a big lad. We got a big lad. Oh, we got... Oh, we've got two big lads. Oh, that's even worse than one big lad. It's like double as many. Right, up here. Up here. Where are they? Uh, actually, I think it's one medium-sized lad and one big lad. And then... Oh, he does avoid the shots. Like a git. Right, just run between these two areas. I think, like, he does a nice big jump here, which gives a good opportunity to get him. Oh, but not if you're going to distract me, you... Oh, low health, low health, low health. This is bad. Um, I'm not sure where I get more health around here at the moment. Because I can't, obviously, um, one-hit kill that guy. I don't have chainsaw at the minute. And... Right. Right, just jump over the top. Jump over the top. Keep an eye out for any little... Oh, I think I saw some... Yes. Armor. Got some armor there. That's a step up at least. Back over to here. He's going to have to come. Oh, that wasn't good at all. That was actively hurting. Uh, okay, more armor over here. I'm almost dead. I'm going to die in a second. This is going to go horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, you're over here. He's jumping up over here. If I can just kind of keep him on a merry dance and then just hit him with the explosive shots as he comes up behind me. Um, which would be better if I didn't keep missing. Right, over here. Where's that last guy who was up there? Right, okay, that took care of a couple of them. That did at least a little bit of damage. I'm just going to move around in a circle until I take at least one of them. Oh, got him. Oh, no, 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 no. Flip. One of them was actually coming around the same way I was there. I'm down to two shots. Then I'm over to the heavy thing instead. Oh, he died. 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 This is good. Right. Good. I swear I saw some more health. And health. Right. Good. I'm still low health, but it's not as bad as it was. Right. Up. Got this thing now. And just shoot him in the... Face. Oh, yes. Whew. Cheaty is all hell. There's about to be a boss coming, isn't there? There's totally a third wave. Oh. Oh, come on. Does that mean I can leave? Does that mean I get a checkpoint? A primary control room has been activated somewhere nearby. It could be Olivia. She is trying to tear open the portal between our world and theirs. You could not have saved them anyway. Oh, I'm not here to save anyone. I'm basically just here for the murder. The system won't allow anyone but Olivia to override it now. 
We will have to shut down the Argent Tower manually from the surface. Now I've got a way to do this. All I do is a terror for arm and I bring it back here and I slap it on there. I've done it a couple of times. It works fine. And that there is Meltdown complete. Apparently I missed a few enemies because I'm not 5 out of 5 there. But I found at least a bit more, though I still haven't found a single bloody secret. Beginning of the end, says the game, though I really hope it's not because I've only been playing for a few hours. I hope there's more than that. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think this is actually the beginning of the end. I think this is the end of the end because I'm going to call it a part here. By the fact there is a lovely plasma rifle there, just in case I missed the one last time. I've never even used this, by the way. The, uh, yeah, there you are. I had nice... I probably should have used that during that fight, shouldn't I? Because I actually had micro-missiles the whole time. Oh, well, live and learn. Yes, this is Doom, and I'm very pleasantly surprised because this is not really my sort of thing. Like, I never really got into, like, you know, the original Dooms and Quakes and in the modern era, the painkillers and all that sort of business. This I've never really just considered this my thing. I've always preferred my shooters slower, more RPG, and more tactical. But this has been really, really bloody good fun. I cannot deny it's been, uh... It's been very, very entertaining indeed. So yes, if you are into your fast-paced shooters, this is a really, really good one. The, literally the only criticism I can come up with is the levels are a bit mazy, and that means because the quest markers are really, really unhelpful, you sometimes find yourself wandering around for a bit. But yeah, the fights are tense and exciting. The mechanics, kind of having to go in and melee people in order to get, like, you know, loads of health, and going in with a chainsaw to get loads of ammo, it all works together to make everything incredibly fast-paced. It all works really, really nicely. Yeah, really nicely thought through. Absolutely lovely. Fantastic little game. Not necessarily the sort of thing I want to play through in its entirety. But yes, if this is your sort of thing, definitely recommend it as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, let's just try this out. Hello. Bye-bye. Oh, that's good. Oh, and you can even choose how many to fire. That's... Yeah, I definitely should have been using this earlier. This is really damn cool. Hello, you, you guys over there. Hey, guys. Guys, show your faces. Eh, never mind. Instead, as we watch the Argent Tower clearly open a portal to hell, which is really what I wanted to see anyway. I think I'm going to call this the end of the video here. But yes, this comes recommended from me if this is your sort of thing. Honestly, even though I don't think this is necessarily my sort of thing, I've had fun with it anyway. So it may well be worth a look to you. And maybe this has opened my eyes slightly, and maybe I'll give something like Painkiller or similar a look in future. So maybe more of this sort of thing in the future, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been the really rather entertaining Doom. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I've got plans. Dad, this, this is my plan. International peacekeeping force. I'm here to bring peace. It's a tsunami of monkeys. This is literally a tidal wave of monkeys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't be here. Don't be standing here. Okay. Oh, you want more peace? Here, have some more. Have some more.